Hi class, I'm Matt Fisher and I'm your accounting instructor. All right, we've already gone over a couple of videos now associated with bad debt expense. We looked at the direct write-off method in the first video. And then in the second video, we looked at the allowance method using percent of sales. Now in this video, we're gonna be looking at the percent of accounts receivable method. All right, this method is different, all right? And you'll see how it's different. First of all, you can see here the percent of accounts receivable, percentage that they're giving us is 3%. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our accounts receivable balance and multiply it by that 3%. 3% 3 of 200,000 is 6,000, right? Now that is not the adjustment. Remember when we did a percent of sales, that was the adjustment. No, when we're using the allowance method, that is our ending balance. We want our ending balance to be 3% of accounts receivable, right? And the problem stated that we already have 2,000 in there, so that's why I've got this 2,000 right here because that was given. And now when we take 3%, that's what we want our ending balance to be. So then what would our adjustment need to be? Right, our adjustment needs to be $4,000 in order to get to the 6,000. So then up here, I'm gonna put down our adjusting journal entry then is bad debt expense, I'm gonna abbreviate here, $4,000, this adjustment, that's where we got it from. And then I'm gonna credit the allowance, I'm gonna abbreviate the allowance for $4,000. And this allowance would be called, once again, the allowance for doubtful accounts or possibly the allowance for uncollectible accounts, something like that, all right? So here's our adjusting entry. So now with this adjusting entry, that truly is the balance in the allowance. Now let's take a look at our balance sheet format now, if we're using the percent of accounts receivable method. The accounts receivable in the balance sheet would be $200,000, and our allowance was 3% of, whoops, 3% of the 200,000 or $6,000. There's our allowance. So then our net accounts receivable using this method would be $194,000, right? Now, a lot of textbooks also show the aging of accounts receivable. Let me explain a little bit about the aging. What we took was 1%, I mean, one percentage, a 3% of the 200,000. And in aging, what they do is they take the accounts receivable and they age them saying, these accounts are zero to 30 days. These accounts are 31 to 60 days. These accounts are 60 to 90 days old, okay? They take these, these amounts and age them out and then they multiply those by percentages, each one by a different percentage, okay, based off of some historical calculation, right? So anyway, they're aging the accounts receivable, and then they're, they're, when they multiply them all out by those percentages, they add those up, and then that would be their ending balance. So we did it in just one step, 3% of the whole 200,000. Or you could age your accounts receivable and multiply each one of those aging totals by the percentage given. And then that total would then be your ending balance here. And then you'd back into your adjustment and you'd follow the same process from there. So the percent of accounts receivable and the percent of aging are very similar. It's just the aging, instead of having one percentage, you're gonna have multiple percentages, right? Let me point out one more thing that you need to be careful of. Let's assume in this example now, that our beginning balance wasn't a credit balance. If our beginning balance had been a debit balance, then our adjustment would need to be a credit of 8,000, because a credit of 8,000 minus this 2,000 would get us to our 6,000, okay? So I'm using the same examples up here, except I changed this to a debit. If this is a debit, then my 2000 here would be a debit, and my adjustment then would change. Instead of it being 4000 here, it would now be 8000 So I'm just telling you this because you need to be careful. In any sort of homework problems or even test problems, make sure you pay attention to what this balance is. All right?
Good luck, class. I'll see you soon.